Hello everyone, my name is Stavros Tripakis and I'm presenting here what is primarily the work of our student, Eliza Oakley, who is unfortunately ill and cannot record this herself. This is also joint work with Alina Oprea. The general motivation for our work is trustworthy AI, which is a big issue today. Our setting here is a reinforcement learning where agents interact with an environment modeled as an MDP and mark of decision process. And what we want is to uh, formally study robustness in this uh, RL setting. Now our robustness model, which can, only be, can also be seen as a threat model in the context of this workshop, is that we have some external agent, let's say an attacker, that can modify the transition probabilities in the MDP within some bound. And the goal of this attacker is to find a perturbation to those transition probabilities such that to minimize or reduce uh, the objective function of the RL agent. For example, let's, uh, to illustrate this, let's consider the well-known grid world example. You have a robot. Uh, maybe it wants to go from some uh, initial state to some goal state while avoiding obstacles or unsafe regions or something like that. Now the robot can make decisions, can take actions. For example, it can decide to go up, but it will not go deterministically up. Uh, it might go up, say, with probability 80%, but it might also go right with probability 20%. And now we want to study robustness in this uh, context, uh, in particular, how robust is the system with respect to those numbers, right? 0 0.8, 0 0.2, and so on. What if an attacker can modify those numbers? How much do those numbers need to be modified in order to make, let's say, the goal unreachable or in order to reduce uh, the probability of reaching the goal? Now, formally, the general problem definition uh, looks briefly like this. Uh, the details are in the paper. Given an MDPM and given a policy sigma and given a specification and temporal logic property phi and given delta a robustness threshold and epsilon a perturbation bound, all these can define a Markov chain C, which is uh, the application of policy sigma to M or the composition of M with sigma. Now this Markov chain has some probability matrix P and what we want is to find a perturbation matrix X where the entries in this perturbation matrix are bounded by epsilon such that for the modified for the new Markov chain C prime right which has perturbed probability matrix P plus X the probability in this new Markov chain to satisfy the formula phi is at least uh, uh, delta smaller than the probabilities to satisfy the formula phi in the original uh, Markov chain, in the original system. Now we make a bunch of restrictions uh, to make this problem easier. Uh, we focus in this paper on a deterministic policy sigma, a function from states to actions. Uh, we only consider reachability properties, so formulas of the form FG or eventually G, where G is some goal state. And we only look at time horizons of two steps. And these restrictions allow us to reduce the problem to a quadratic programming problem where the objective function is quadratic and the constraints are linear. Now here are some uh, preliminary experimental results. We use the CVX opt, uh, optimization package in Python uh, to, do, uh, to solve our optimization problem. Uh, we consider a very simple example with only three states, uh, 0, 1, 2. The initial state is zero and the gold state is two. And we perform a number of experiments with uh, probabilities chosen uh, uniformly and randomly uh, and average the results. Now, the diagram here shows uh, how the probability of reaching the goal 
in two steps varies with the perturbation bound uh, epsilon. The blue curve, which is constant as is to be expected, is uh, the original uh, system, the unperturbed system. So the probability there doesn't vary at all with epsilon. The orange line is uh, the perturbed system or the system under attack, if you want. And as you can see, as expected, the probability of reaching the goal uh, decreases as epsilon uh, goes up. Now, in terms of related work, uh, there has been uh, obviously a lot of work uh, on the general topic of trustworthy AI. So this is just a brief account. More details can be found in the paper. Uh, there is a lot of work on robustness verification for neural networks. Uh, our context here, our focus is uh, reinforcement learning. There has been a lot of work on reinforcement learning also, uh, in particular on formal verification of uh, MDP-based systems, but less work, at least to our knowledge, on uh, robustness in this context. Now, there are uh, a few recent works uh, uh, from 2020, which are closely related to what we are doing. The work by Suile et Natal um, consider a more general problem than the one uh, we are solving here, but it seems also that uh, they present approximate solutions to this problem, whereas our solutions are exact. And the work by Pachi and uh, Parker uh, considers abstraction, uses abstraction, whereas we, we don't. Now, in terms of future directions, uh, trustworthy AI is obviously a major challenge and robustness is an open problem. Uh, what we want to do is uh, uh, improve our methods so that we can handle larger time horizons, more properties, not just reachability, more complicated uh, environments, uh, larger state spaces, for example. And we want to use a probabilistic model checker as a sub-procedure instead of a classic optimization uh, package, which will likely be needed in order to handle more complicated uh, properties. So with that, I would like to thank you for listening and uh, welcome your questions. Thank you.